Also joining us in the audience is the founder of Shared Hope International. Now, Linda Smith says these traffickers know exactly how to identify and target vulnerable children. Girls are literally sold on what <laughs> essentially is an auction block to other pimps and other traffickers. I got Japanese girls. I got Russian girls, Romanian girls. I got Canadian girls. They'd asked me to procure another boy, but they wanted him as young as possible. As young as 10? As young as 8. The youngest I've ever seen was 6 years old. If you're going out there buying commercial sex, the likelihood is that you are buying sex from a child. That's just staggering. Linda, this is something that is growing rapidly, true? I found that basically the, the child is 12 to 14 when she goes into this, but uh, worse than that, she could be anybody's child. Even though the factor of vulnerability is often sexual abuse or foster care, bleed out or run away, um, the real factor is she's a little girl and she's easy to woo. So what we found is that the age factor is really, really major. And I hate to say this, but I think it could be anybody's child. I've got a case right now. She was 12 and she was kidnapped and off the street walking to school there from 12 to, to 16, arrested 17 times in 17 states. Her buyer, sometimes with her, was wa walked, never was arrested. We could not find uh, literally any cases where the man buying the child was arrested and put in jail for buying. Well, I am just outraged by this. I'm, I'm just outraged by this. Who are the buyers? If it weren't buyers, there wouldn't be sellers. Who are the buyers? What we found is that uh, the open market allows the sale of children in the United States. And they're everybody's husband, father, and this really bugs people when I say it. Could be anybody's son. Because if there's no pushback, which there isn't. I mean, if we've investigated America and pretty well not found any of the buyers arrested, there's no pushback. I'm coming to the conclusion after three years, if there weren't a buyer, there wouldn't have a seller. And you hang just a few guys and pretty high-level guys that we're discovering are using kids. And you know what? The rest of them are going to be like the crows that won't go to the corn when they see a few dead ones hanging over it. And I think we have to do that. Okay. Uh, next, as teenagers, they were lured into a prostitution ring. How they finally escaped. We'll be right back. By many moons, dressed in my costume, baby. Photos on the wall of ones to have it all. The girls, the boys will call, baby. It's impossible to fight when you work a hard day's night. This is not my voice, this is not my choice. This is somebody's baby They don't know my age They don't know my name They just call me baby blue Baby blue Piper in the woods Wooed me from my hood Said I'd be a good baby Sold into a world of orients on pearls Such a pretty girl, baby On a million faces now Stolen angel in the crowd This is not my voice This is not my choice This is somebody's, baby They don't know my age They don't know my name Take long I can say 
Thanks to Julia Ormond, Justin Dillon, Linda Smith and, uh, from Shared Hope, and FBI Special Agent Conde Vasquez, and to all of my guests today that had the courage to come here and share stories that it would have been much easier to just leave alone. I know this hasn't been an easy show to watch, uh, but I think it's been an important show to see. So thank you for spending your time with us. We'll see you next time.